What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday. Every Friday, I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we're going to be playing the second of four of the brand new maps. This is Stockholm. We're doing the same settings each time around. Uh, world Domination on... Uh, one of the new maps today is Conquest Stockholm, auto setup, 60 second turn, expert AI, and we don't have any yet. I'm playing this ranked on my main, progressive, balanced blitz dice. No filtering the lobby, and nothing fancy, no blizzard, no fog, no alliances. I'm in the final position. In position one, we have General Longhair, 9106, flying the flag of Saudi Arabia. He is the white player. In position two, we have the black player from the US of A, Bean B Jumpin'. In position three, we have also from US of A, the blue player, Gunter Peacemaker 7. In position four, we have Scotty Cleveland from the United Kingdom playing as Magenta. And in position five, we have General Mammon, 11543 from Spain playing as Purple. I'm in position six. I'm um, currently ranked the reset, put me just outside the top 100. I should be closer to two or even 300 on this account. This is the main Pete account. Um, but of course we can't even see our own stats in game anymore. Okay, so what do you want to know about Stockholm? First thing you want to do, you want to take a look at the bonuses. You have Sodermalm in the bottom right worth plus five. You have Normalm worth plus five in the top left. Uh, Gramunk Holman, I'm, I'm going to be shitty with my Swedish guys, uh, plus five in the bottom. Uh, Helgans Holman plus three, Trey Corner plus three, Nora Salcion's Strand plus five, and Sodra plus four. Three center bonuses, you have plus five, plus six, and plus six. Across the bottom is a five, and then you have a three for three, Sodra Malin Strand, and Nora Malin Strand worth plus four, if you can hold it. Lots of bonuses on this map. Looks like Blue Evacuating here gives me a shot to take this one. My question is how much do I need to live or die by these bonuses? Who's going to try and take what? I think this map is a bonus mattering map. It looks like we also have a bot out. So the black player bought it out on their first turn. Okay, that will impact the outcome, I'm sure. Okay, there's a two. That is an impactful two because I don't have any occupation in the bottom right now. So I think the way this cookie crumbles is you hold a bonus, or you try to. And try not to get into a war with your neighbor. Uh, looks like the plus five here is the one that would give me the best shot. So I can go one, two, three, and then pull my, my three in. That might scare blue. But there doesn't actually seem to be another way to play it, and that would also put me in one position, which I don't like. These... New maps are bonus heavy. I think not taking one turn one would be a mistake. Okay, purple's gonna work on this, or are they gonna break? As purple goes bad neighbor, I'm in less of a rush. They do. Okay. This is the this is my favorite part of the inclination for a player to go bad neighbor is not only do they do so, but then they have the audacity to try and take one of their own. Okay, so given this turn of events, I'm going to take all but one of this bonus and line myself up to take it on, on a future turn. No, you know what? I can still take it and just not guard super strong, right? Leave myself soft. Anyone can still hit me if they want to hit me, but I'm sitting with a very nice looking seven stack that says, you hit me, I'll hit you back. We move on to the second turn. If you guys know how I like to play progressive, I really enjoy being in the last position. Yeah, in this sort of circumstance, in a public ranked game, 
I'm going to expect my opponents to make mistakes. And being in the last position in the card sequence lets me have a bigger match on average, which will let me pay some of that off. Uh, black player uh, manages to hold 12 territory, so they start with 4. Guess they haven't lost any of their troops. Are they finally putting in? Okay, it looks like I'm going to lose my, my single here. I also don't love being in a single position. I have 22 troops. I do hold a bonus. I'm not expecting to actually keep it, though. I think purple breaks me like this would be my guess. Instead of realizing that we have uh, mutual benefit by keeping an undefended border, purple has already shown their willingness to go bad neighbor. I'm excited to see what blue does here. Does blue add to the three and hit their two away? Six v two is a hundred percent roll, and we have a war. Great. Okay, so now purple breaks me. I think unless purple decides to be smart and take their own bonus. Okay, blue manual rolls a single, which you should absolutely never do in that circumstance. Because you might as well manual roll two dice and get better odds. But if you're going to manual roll two dice, you might as well blitz. Balance blitz um, rounds the average up. If the average outcome of that roll is more than 50%, then it rounds it down if it's less. So that's why you manual roll singles. And you blitz roll two, two v one or uh, three v ones. Oh. All right, magenta is taking the bottom right hand side. This is a great bonus. This is probably these two are probably the best spots to be in if you're in normal or soda mom. Um, two point guards on uh, plus five individually. I'd rather not be in this position that I'm in. But it was the way the cookie crumbled. So we don't see purple break me. We see purple take its own bonus. No, not even that. Well, purple is just playing. Oh, they're taking this. Interesting. Let's have a plus four. Two one of yeah. Two one is not great odds. So they're gonna they're gonna be off their bonuses for a while. Getting to hold this was great. I'm going to take the pressure off of blue. I definitely don't want to start a war with blue. Now I'm at 31 troops. Okay, white's going to finish here. Magenta's going to finish here. Who is fish? Black, probably. Blue's also down to 15, but they're going to hold their bonus, which will pick them back up a little bit. White's taking a while to finish their own. That might be the downside to these. They're, they are plus fives on the two sides, but they're quite large. Somehow Black Bear still has 12 territories. and wastes their clock. <laughs> All right, we roll a 5v2 after thinking about it for most of a turn. I don't have anything to fear from black by the looks of things. They're not really able to manage the mechanics, and they don't understand what rolling dice. They're leaving threes locked inside the corners. They are one turn away from taking that bonus. All things being equal, I've identified a weak opponent. Okay, so blue's going to break me? I wouldn't have expected that. Or are they just guarding against the inevitable? I wouldn't have expected that. I would have expected that me taking the pressure off them would have tried to keep them a bit sweeter on me. 
Also considering that I have one and a half times their forces, it might be an unwise idea to poke the bear. Well, let's see what they do. They're also going to be sandwiched between white here. I'm trying to get value out of their two. Eh, they hit purple. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting the blue to break me. Okay, so white's going to get picked off from here. White's going to have a little bit in the bottom. I'm now trying to identify who the fish is for when the time is right to eat them for their cards. Magenta finishes their bonus. Will purple stop that? I seem to be holding plus five, which is ideal. Yeah, purple's gonna break me now. No, they line up to take their own bonus. All right. I wonder if blue breaks in reciprocity. Bunch of twos. What's that one worth a six? I mean, I don't really have to do anything. So I'm going to continue my split style. Okay, single card. Thirty-seven troops is pretty good. As long as I don't lose one of my stacks, white's gonna finish here, removing magenta's exterior. Black's gonna finish here, removing purple's exterior. Most of my opponents are going to be in one place. That makes them easy to kill. Blue's still looking weak. I'm pretty well lined up to kill blue. I think blue's the fish. Let's see what black does. I figure black adds to the three and finishes this two. So black's gonna be here, white's gonna be here, magenta's gonna be here, purple is still in two places, and blue, I think it's eliminated by me before too, too long. But I'm definitely not going to instigate a war I can't win. My style of playing progressive is more like an ambush predator. I wait, 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 and kill you all in one shot before you see it coming. I'm gonna roll four V2s? Well, it worked. Not an ideal roll. Alright, what does blue do now? Blue at least holds a little bonus. So they get six a turn at 21 troops. Interestingly enough, tied with magenta. Do they break me finally? Or is this all still guarding? It looks like it's all still guarding. That connects that way. I didn't notice that. Pulls the three all the way back, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, magenta now. Ooh, magenta sets early. No reason for them to do that. They're interested in guarding their bonus. They say, I finally took it. I have a two-point guard on a plus five. Are they going to break black? Wow, magenta goes bad neighbor. Hits a six stack. All right, so there's a couple of things that you guys want from this. This is a bad move on multiple dimensions. Um, what Magenta did was they wasted, they, they traded early, so they wasted their initial trade, got the smallest possible one, and then instigated a war with their neighbor, who will have cards and will be able to punch them back. But what we see oftentimes is we see people just bought out instead. 
when they get their continents broken, so that might be a thing too. Uh, purple does hold a bonus, so they get the plus six. Now they have a ten sitting there. Can they finish a second bonus? Bold. I have a 17 and a 15. Haven't traded. I'm the troop lead by a lot. If nobody breaks purple, though, they'll catch up pretty quick. Purple went bad neighbor once, but they haven't instigated with me. I'm reasonably well lined up to kill blue, and I think I will when they're holding five cards. And the sets are at six. Okay, black has an easy take in the middle. Where where is blue gonna hit now? They're really sandwiched. They hit me, right? Or they hit purple again. Looks like they hit purple again. <laughs> Good. I'll take that. Blue player, 25 troops and 5 cards. The first set is only worth 6. And magenta is just eviscerating black. Ooh, a 10. And they got broken by blue. Let's see some revenge. Okay, 15 to match. And six to retake. That we don't see some revenge. So is it correct to take blue now? I think it's too early. too early. Just slightly, though. I'll take a second bonus. Okay, white's not guarding at all on the front that they have with me. They match him, they get the six. Does white kill blue? No. They could have, though. White wants this bonus? I had a three stack of mine. Hmm. Well, what set am I going to get? I'm going to get the, the 15, which is nice. Probably be able to kill blue for three cards and set again. <clears throat> Depending on what happens now. I won't get the 15, I'll get the 12, because black's not going to set. I actually can probably kill blue, then black. 
Actually, maybe black then blue. Maybe black first. That might be the play. Black first set. Yeah, 26 for 5. That's the best deal in town. Okay, blue sets and gets the 8. So I gotta worry about hitting one, two, three, four, five singles there. So what do I want? Like ten? And then the rest of my troops are actually lined up to finish. Alright, we're going for black first. Let's see what magenta does. They've already set. They're gonna hit a purple five. Purple being at 30 troops and 5 cards might actually be a better kill than black. And Magenta's going to make it... Okay, they don't hit this 5. Magenta's going to make it easy for me. Yeah, unless purple gets black, beats me to the punch. Alright, so Magenta takes a second bonus. Do they break? No. Alright. They have a three-point guard on two continents. Um, purple set. Uh, purple gets nine troops to start, and then sets in and gets the ten. Purple has a lot of troops. Finally hit me. black and then blue I think do we see a break we do okay I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get two good kills right now A lot of emotes for someone who doesn't know how to play. Blue dies too. sitting. I have five cards. Those pockets don't connect. Fuck. 31 stack in the middle of the board. I would have loved to have not have that 13 there either. Yeah, I lose it, right? Damn it. Life's just getting easy to... No, they do hit the 13! They do hit the 13! There you go. 13 troops down the drain. Alright. White's going to be holding four cards. Can I kill them? Open me up, baby. Open me up. Keep going. One more hit, and I can kill White next turn. So they think they hurt me, but what I can actually do is cut through here. I have to hit that 7, but the rest of White is in a single position that I'm attached to. Cool. White has 34 troops and 4 cards. The set is at 25. Let's see Magenta doing some breaking. I don't see any reason why we let purple hold. Magenta's guarding. Alright, white's next to die.
25. What does purple do? Sensing gets the 25. Okay, so I get the 30. Ooh, they hit magenta. Lovely. Okay, so it's going to be a 1v1 endgame with me and purple. Uh, I kill white now. Magenta will have cards. Hopefully magenta hits purple back. Or does it make sense for me to kill magenta? No, because I'm not lined up. Alright, what's 100% to kill a 7? 13? It's probably 12. White player dies. Good game, guys. I think I gotcha. Holding four cards again, unless I don't have a match on four. But I do. Match is now 40. Magenta sets and gets the 40. Do they punch purple, or do they punch it all into me? They probably should punch it all into me. But as long as I don't lose my stack, I can kill either of these guys and go into a 1v1. I think the player I'm going to kill is going to be purple. Purple's in a single contiguous position. Go one, two, three, split here. Pick off that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to split off 12, 13 troops here. And then finish purple that way. Yeah, magenta is slow. But purple is also going to hit me. It doesn't matter. I'm way faster than these guys. Whenever SMG decides to turn off camera animations as a default and help their newer players equalize in speed, probably a good idea. But you didn't get that one from me. Because what the fuck do I know? Purple, their last gasp. 84 troops. Do they hit me? Yes. Okay. Yep, they break all my bonuses. A lot of splits, but I think I can do it. Open the 10. Very nice. That helps too. Just in case I run out of troops. All right. four cards. The only way I could possibly lose this game is if I don't have a set. Don't see it. No set. Okay. So, I'm holding twice as much board as this guy. Let's see how fast he can move. We're almost equal in troops. I will be next to set. 
So I have to survive two turns. He's bought it. He's already bought it. Okay. I win. Yeah, that's a GG. I like this map. Feels good. A little choky. That's fine. Continents matter. Probably very interesting for fixed. video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me, defeating... Hey, we've got battle points. <laughs> nice. Defeating two novices, one beginner, one intermediate, and one expert. And we rank up two... Level two. Oh my god. This is cool. You're going to give us some rewards. Equip now? I get a tank. I don't want to equip it, but I now have a tank troop. Excellent. Um, currently ranked 120. So there we are. Once the leaderboard populates, though, it'll be more like a 2 250 kind of a range. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.